Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, we're talking about Kick and Star Wars Outlaws, and it looks like some people have gotten their copies of Star Wars Outlaws a little bit early. So Star Wars Outlaws is not supposed to be released until next Friday, August 30th, I think. But some people have been streaming it on Kick. Now my gut tells me as we get closer to release, we're probably going to see a whole lot more gameplay service online in places like here on YouTube and Twitch and others. If you want to avoid spoilers, just be careful on videos you're clicking on that feature Star Wars Outlaws. And speaking about spoilers and video surfacing on YouTube, next up we're talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And if you're interested in seeing some gameplay, some videos have popped up on YouTube. Now, early access is set to be on August 30th as well, I think. But at the same time here, some videos have already been released. If you are curious, I'll drop a link to this one in the description below. And if you don't want to see it, don't click on it. I have no idea how long this is going to stay on YouTube for. Next up, we're talking about, and I'm going to try not to butcher this name, Atelier Marie for the Game Boy Color. This game was released back in 2000. It's an RPG. It was in Japanese only. However, there has been a very recent English translation patch for it. If you are curious about this fan translation patch, I'll drop a link to the GitHub in the description below. It's 100% free and open source. But they do note here that there are some issues with this game in MGBA. And it's not just because of the patch. Apparently, the actual game has issues. And speaking about GitHub, next up, we're talking about a project that's been around for a while, but has just recently popped up on GitHub. And that's a very interesting 4 megabyte RAM cart design for the Sega Genesis Mega Drive and the 32X. So from my understanding at a high level here, this cartridge allows the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis and hopefully 32X to access an extra 4 megabytes of RAM. Now for homebrew devs, this might be a very big thing and we might get some very creative projects because of it. It seems it's still under development though and there is quite a bit of information here. I'll drop a link to the GitHub in the description below and feel free to check it out. There's even a whole forum about it. And speaking about the Sega Mega Drive, next up we're talking about the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive with a game that you may not have realized is being ported to the system. Now we've talked about this one in a previous video, but there's a brand new video up here on Twitter showcasing how the progress is going. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, and this is shaping up real good. Unfortunately, I don't have a release date just yet, but as everything I talk about, link will be in the description below and feel free to check it out. And continuing to talk about Sega stuff, next up here we're talking about Sega vs. Capcom The Next Level. This is an Eichmann Go game. We have talked about this one in the past, I think, or maybe we haven't, but I'm pretty sure we have. Anyways, the Beta 2 is now available for this game. If you are curious about this one, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. And continuing to talk about stuff we may or may not have talked about before. Kind of. I mean, we've talked about Callisto Protocol yesterday and how it's now free on Epic Games, at least for a limited time. And today, well, we're talking about a spin-off of that game. And that game is called Redacted, and they've announced it yesterday with a release date of this year. It's heading to Xbox, PS5, and PC. The developers are calling this one a fast-paced isometric roguelike, and it is releasing on October 31st. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Do you like how the gameplay looks? Do you like the artistic flair of this one? This one does have my interest peaked. I mean, here are some of the comments. Didn't expect this to be part of the Callisto Protocol universe. The hell, we went from Callisto Protocol to this. Well, damn it, I'm here for it because it looks sick. A Callisto Protocol version of Hades, sign me up. And this person, kind of wish they went with a horror vibe, but I'd be down to maybe play this. Next up, if you're into Pokemon cards, we've got a release date for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Surging Sparks, and that is on November 8th of this year. So they say here that this new expansion is going to feature over 250 cards, new Terra Pokemon X, Ace Spec cards, and electrifying Lightning-type Pokemon. Next up, we're talking about something that's not being well-received at all, and I mean at all. So yesterday we talked about Avowed and something that was being relatively well received and that's how many endings the game has. So the game is reported to have over 10 endings and they're all a result of different choices you make throughout the game.
Anyways, here, this news is, well, I just said it's not being well received. The devs have apparently said the game is built on 30 FPS, and they believe that since the game is a first-person single-player game, you don't need a 60 FPS mode. 30 FPS was the target since the beginning of development. So taking a look at the reactions of this from different places on the internet, and it seems that some people who were excited about this game on console are no longer excited about the game, and I don't blame them here. I mean, this is a first-person game. You would think they would target 60 frames per second. I don't know why they would target 30 frames per second in this day and age. Now, I did see some people disagree with that and say 30 frames per second is absolutely fine. And I would say, yes, it used to be absolutely fine. I mean, in certain situations, 30 frames per second is fine. But in a first-person game, I don't think 30 frames per second in today's day and age really cuts it. I could be wrong though. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. And speaking about frames per second, next up we're talking about PlayStation 4 emulation with Yes Shad PS4. And there's some new gameplay of Bloodborne Online showing this game running at over 120 frames per second. I am not joking with you here. I mean, here is one of the developers of Shad PS4 showcasing this game in action. And well, Bloodborne is looking really good. I mean, this is pretty darn smooth and running a lot faster than I would have expected. Additionally, Brutal Sam has a YouTube video showcasing ultra wide 1440p and reshade. Yes, this game already has custom shaders. It's absolutely nuts how fast this is progressing. I mean, look at this on Nexus Mods. Restored post-processing for Shad PS4. Reshade. This is crazy. Next up, we're talking about Tales of Kenzero, which is a Metroidvania style of game on Steam here. And it's been rated very positive, but recently it's been rated mixed. Anyways, this one is published by EA, and they have just removed Denuvo. This game was released fairly recently at the end of April of this year, so just a few months back now, and there is a demo available if you wanted to check this one out. Next up, we're talking about The Stone of Madness, and the story trailer for this game just dropped on YouTube. This game is being developed by the people who brought us Blasphemous, and this is a tactical stealth kind of game. It looks very interesting. The graphics on this one are also very interesting. I mean, the graphics look hand-drawn here, which I think is pretty cool. There's going to be five different prisoners. There's going to be puzzles, mysteries, and even more. Ultimately, you have to escape this very weird prison. This game is headed to PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC in early 2025. Next up, if you're a fan of Lost in Random, you might be excited about this news. There's a brand new game here called Lost in Random The Eternal Die. It's the sequel to Lost in Random. This one is heading to Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and PC. Lost in Random The Eternal Die is a roguelite set to release sometime in 2025. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Next up, we're talking about Infinity Nikki. Now, this is a dress-up RPG game. It's been announced for a while. I mean, it was announced last year, I think. The person behind this game helped develop some Zelda games. For example, Twilight Princess and also Wind Waker. And also Mario Kart Double Dash. Anyways, this game apparently is pretty darn popular. A lot of people seem to be very excited about it. I mean, if you don't believe me, here's the tweet right from the Infinity Nikki team. Infinity Nikki global pre-registrations reached 12,060,000. That is a lot of pre-registrations. Infinity Nikki is headed to PS5, PS4, PC, Android, and iOS devices. And let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. I'm pretty sure beta testing for this game starts later on this year. Next up is just a friendly heads up that Weapon of Choice DX is currently free on Steam. It may not be your cup of tea in terms of games, but at the same time, this price is very attractive. Zero dollars is an awesome price to pay for a game. And speaking about heads up, next up we're quickly talking about Wii U emulation with Seamu. Now this is just a heads up and something not to hold your breath on just yet, but at the same time it is exciting news. The team apparently has started preparations for a 2.1 version of this emulator. They say here, for 2.1 we are overhauling how we handle releases by dropping the distinction between stable and experimental builds. The previous setup had experimental releases coming out pretty frequently, but the stable release took so long to happen that the experimental version became the recommended version for people to use long ago, contrary to the original idea behind it. They go on to say, to avoid pushing out potentially buggy updates to everybody, they are a small team and things slip through the cracks. They've added a new option to the UI, receive untested updates. 
If enabled, the user will get the latest release as soon as it drops. If disabled, updates will be delayed by one to three weeks, which gives the team time to catch and fix any issues. So CMU seems to be switching to more of a rolling release schedule, which I can completely agree with. Now 2.1 has not dropped just yet, but as soon as I know more, you'll know more. Next up, we're talking about a brand new game headed to the Game Boy Color. This one is called Shanty. I think that's how you pronounce this one, and it's a play on Sea Shanty. It's a pirate-themed metal rhythm game. If you are curious about this one, there is a demo for it up on itch.io, and I think I said it was for the Game Boy Color, but it's for the Game Boy. But I mean, at the same time, you can still play it on the Game Boy Color if you wanted. They say this game is approximately 10 hours long, and I'm curious to know your thoughts about it in the comments below. And speaking about hours of gameplay, next up we're talking about Sword of Convalaria which is an RPG that's out now on PC, Android, and iOS, and boasts 120 hours of gameplay. Now, this is a free-to-play game, so there might be some elements to this game you might not like. Now, on Android, it's got over 500,000 downloads, and it's got over a 4-star rating. And on Steam, it's got, I think, a mostly positive review score. So if you've played this one, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. And last up here, if you're a fan of zombie games and survival games, you might be a fan of God Save Birmingham. And this game has just been announced for PC. Unfortunately, I don't have a release date for this one just yet, but it does look pretty interesting. And let me know if I said this right. Is it Birmingham? Is it Birmingham? I'm not quite sure on that one. I'm not quite sure on the nuances of the town name. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.